All right, I'm Nick out in the garage. I know it's been a while since we introduced a new product or did anything like that, but we had a bunch of requests for this. And this is an adapter that will allow you to mount the Garmin dual beam transducer. If you're not familiar with this, it comes with the simplest Garmin Striker 4, uh, not the Chirp version, the cheapest version, which is about 130 bucks. It's gonna adapt it, let you mount it on here. If you haven't seen it already, we made an adapter several months ago for the Garmin 43CV or 4CV with the GT20 transducer. Um, I'll put a link up here so you can watch that if you need to see it. Uh, these will be on the website, 20 bucks like the other one. Super easy, it comes with this bolt and this nut. If you bought the transducer like I did, it comes in this bag. Now this is the Garmin dual beam, right? If you're not sure which transducer you have, you can simply look at this tag, right? You get a lot of questions about what transducer I have. On this tag, it will actually say dual beam transducer. So this, I dropped the hardware. This is the Garmin dual beam transducer. I know, and it's very confusing for a lot of people, that on the box, it'll say dual beam transducer for just about every transducer Garmin makes. Nomenclature wise, this, this little thing right here, is the Garmin dual beam, okay? We bend over and grab this hardware real quick. And I'm back. All right, so here's a transducer. This is the mount, it will ship out, remember, one bolt, one nut, nothing to it. Your transducer will come with a bolt, two washers, and a nut, okay? We'll save that for just one second. Now, this is designed, grooves down to go on here and around here. We put this hole in the middle, that way you can run this wire through. And this will take a second because there's a whole lot of wire, so let's fast forward through this as well. Okay, so once you're done sifting through all that wire, this will drop in place, just like so. You'll take the hardware that came with the transducer, run it through here, pops out, install your washer, install your nut. You don't really need to tighten anything up just yet, okay? This piece here, wire will go through the bottom of the kayak in a minute, but we're gonna install it on here. It'll just line up, slide down like that. You can take your time now. You can get everything centered, get it level. Very, very easy, nothing to it. Tighten both of those down just so it doesn't move. You don't gotta hawk out or anything crazy. If you see another video of the full install, that thing is super tight, okay? So I will tighten that down, show you what it looks like when it's tightened down. Fast forward through all that good stuff. Then I'll show you how to install it on the kayak. So once you get it tightened down, level to your liking, you're good to go. The wire should come out of that hole just like that. Remember, these two holes go to the rear on your install, and this is the front of the Lynx plate. If you've never taken it off before or didn't pay any attention, this is just going to drop in place like this. I'll pull the GoPro out. I'll go over there and I'll show you how to install it. So we're over at the kayak, first thing you're gonna do, and the links is upside down right now, I'm just gonna show you the bottom part, I'm not gonna flip it over and show you how I installed the screen or anything, we've done that in some other videos. Just run that through there. It's always so much wire, okay? Enough wire to do anything you want to do. This guy will just come on down, drop it in place like that, put your two screws back in. Remember, if you're not used to using your drill, just use a screwdriver. My torque settings are good. That's that, very simple. Fits on the kayak without any issues, and you're ready to go fishing. All right, that's that install complete. Very, very simple, very, very effective. It's gonna work well for you guys. We already sell a ton of the other version. This one was requested. Sorry it took so long to make it, move, all that good stuff.
Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or shoot me an email at nick at